Hello from Belgium, everyone. I am here with Philip. We're staying with Nick, Marie and Antoine on our way back from seeing Philip's parents in Maastricht, where we've been celebrating our engagement and just having a lovely time with the family. Now we're on our way back to La Lande, but of course we couldn't go back without stopping to see Nick, Marie and Antoine. And Marie has brought us to the centre of Brussels because there is a huge flea market. So Philip's beside himself with excitement. I can it's show you the first antique. Oh, oh. Well, what? Two? We are following Poupette, who is leading the way. Poupette's the antiques expert in the family. <laughs> <laughs> They're really excited about the antiques, but I am so excited about the chocolate. I mean, this is Brussels and it has the best chocolate shops. No way. This is it. This is really made for you because every time I pass by, of course, you don't buy this for your home or your flat, but you just buy it for the chateau. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the... It's incredible. The I know, so many things. So I love this one. That one is absolutely gorgeous, yes. And that mirror would be That's really my favourite cool. one too. So it's mirror. Oh it's yeah, the nice mirror is so cute with the little scenes on it. I really like that. Look, the uh, swallows on the telephone wire. I have to say the prices are slightly cheaper than France. For a shop. I don't know, yeah. Um, I think at auction they'd be slightly less, but for example, that beautiful chandelier is just over 4,000. <gasps> oh, that's quite similar to mine, but even bigger than mine. And this one? I know. Oh, the Murano works. I love it. Oh my goodness, they've got one of the dolphin Murano chandeliers. Oh, that is so good. Or as I thought they were when I first saw them, the fish ducks. Fish ducks? <laughs> yeah. Look at these Whoa. This is a very, very beautiful shop. What I find cool is like, yeah, every time there's like columns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, okay, where do you, how do you... They're too tall even for La Land. We wouldn't even be able to put them in the chateau. I think that's my favourite, that one. This chandelier. Yeah. The colours are so unusual. I don't think I've ever seen one with those colours. Imagine that, Catherine. I think that this is my favourite, which is really unusual. I really like that one. Just, it's so amazing. I'll step back to show everyone because you can't really see the amazingness here. But it looks like a jellyfish. Look, I wouldn't say no to any of them. <laughs> They're all gorgeous. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. 8,000. That's disappointing because the others were sort of more reasonable prices. And then Philip saw that and said, right, well, that's the best one in the whole place. But yes. 8,000. Oh, look at the one behind it. It's huge. Just extraordinary. Oh, we're on a detour because Philip's fallen in love with the little houses. It's so sweet. Look at the mirror. I love the sort of almost palm leaf type of decorations along the side. We're having to leave because the flea market closes at one. So we have to get to the flea market. Pet is being extremely strict about it. Lovely nice. top. But but lovely chairs as well. Look at the chairs nice next to it. Oh, on the gazebo, right in the middle of the gazebo in the garden. No, I know. Not with, not with that base. Right, onwards, ever onwards. You did it, Marie. Yes. You brought Philip to his holy grail. Look at his little happy face. I think I'm going to find a place in the taxi and just wait for you. <laughs> Where it's lovely and warm. Where to start, Philip? Oh, look, have you seen this for a centre table? You which plate? Oh, yeah, that's so similar to yeah. your K plates. But I think this one's missing the lid. Oh, it doesn't have a K on it. That's a bonus if you ask yeah. me. I like it, but I don't think it's quite a bit plain, quite elegant though. Yeah, it would be nice like a little cash board in a room or something. I immediately look at that and I think yeah. half bottle of wine on well, ice. Probably what it was for. Have your phone with you. I have my phone. I yes, think I am. Uh, <laughs> we've done two meters in ten minutes, I so mm -hmm. I am going to be on a cafe in a cafe. <laughs> Wise woman. And wait for you, copper. It shines to you. It calls to you from across the market. You think about it? Think about it, yeah. Look at the tiny little Limoges service. It's a, I think it's for nuts. Nuts? 
But they usually have like one bigger one and then... Yeah, some, some sort of little apéro nouvelle yeah. things. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. There are a lot of decanters, vases and crystal here. Because Belgium is well known for its crystal, there's an extraordinary manufacturer called Val Saint Lambert here. And we use those glasses, the beautiful colourful glasses that we use at La Lande for the guest dinners, are from Val Saint Lambert, they're very old ones. And so I'm pretty sure Philip will be keeping an eye out for any crystal here. This is Val Saint Lambert. Well. That's the same crystal as the coloured crystal glasses. You've actually been looking for one of these for a long time. Yes, I've nearly bought one about 10 times now, I think. Yeah. But this is more than I said no to before. Okay, on uh, online. Yeah. It's much less than they usually are online, but if you keep looking, you kind of get slightly less. Money. I've seen them for 40. I probably don't need them. I love that right color. Now. No, I don't think you need it right now. Look, there's another one here. Yeah, the green. But it's the pink that draws yeah. me. And that's Belgian crystal. It's a pity that terrine's lost its top because what a beautiful blue. Really very, very lovely. Did you believe we're on the cash pool? Philip spotted a cash pool. What is it? Bock Frère. Blumeland, country of flowers. Do you reckon that's an early Villarone Bock? Bock Frère. I was wondering about that. It's quite nice. What do you think? I don't know that we need a blue one. I was thinking for the kitchen. I don't know that we need one in the kitchen. <laughs> I think what you're saying is you don't like it. I don't dislike it. I actually quite like it, but I don't know if we need it. How much is it? It's 40 euros, and I've bought bigger ones of better quality for one euro before, so <laughs> I think I don't need this one. Look, a lovely little bread basket. Do we need another lovely little bread basket? Well, I've got the one, you know, that I use a lot. Oh, uh, no, we don't. No, we really don't. no, no. And he's off like a ferret up a drain pipe. What have you spotted? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, a little bit like our lovely pink sprayed ones. Yeah. It's actually very pretty. It's nice, right? Um, I don't think we need them. Oh, look at this. Isn't that a gorgeous set? Look at the little jug. Oh, I do think that's lovely. Yes, that's in a bedroom. Whiskey in there, water in there. All sorted. It's quite an unusual chime from the church. And I think everyone's thinking, here you go. Figaro, Figaro. I can hear people walking past me humming Figaro. Even. Do you know, it often pops up when we go out. We're quite lucky. Yeah. I'm not sure we need that piece I don't think though. So no, that's more for storing I utensils. I uh, or I wonder if it used to have a top or something. Yeah, perhaps like a, like a, a nice jar. jar. This is hilarious. Do you want to get it? Just really It's so bad, it's good. I was wondering for Chambord de la Chapelle. It'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? The colours would be good. It's not a very good painting. It's neither fine art nor naive, so it falls in a very unfortunate middle zone. It's like... I somehow am drawn to it. Have well, I become a dog person? I actually quite like it. I think it's really funny. And I do like a bit of fun. Rude. Do you how much it is? Yeah, check the price. We were both in agreement. We were going to go for that, but we were thinking maybe like 50, 60, and it was 300 euros, which that, that was too much for that painting. I quite like that skirt. Sort of moire effect. Okay, I'm, I should show you all Philip's face. <laughs> Look, I like I'm very happy cheerful. Like it. Um, Go for it. Having, no, well, don't worry, you're saved because that's definitely not my waistline. So, goodbye, lovely tiny skirt. Also, on bed. Oh, you keep finding more of it. I'm not surprised well, here in Brussels. Well, it's actually it's, it's close to where I come from. It's close to the Dutch border. And this one's signed, but a lot of the pieces are not signed. Yes, yeah, so I show everyone that signature. It's really so much like handwriting. It's amazing yeah. that they managed to etch that in. It's really cool, but I don't think we need it. We don't need it at all. It's just nice to look at yeah. pretty things. The green's very nice too. I quite like the fabric of this footstool. I like that. It'll it be is nice. cute, isn't it? It's like a cushion in Catanet or something. Very, very cute. Oh, when are we to sell on? Still, we're not going to carry a footstool back on the train <laughs> today. I like that. It's quite elegant. German. German, yeah. It reminds me a little bit of the Rosenthal with that sort yeah. of rectangle in the background. It's fun. 
It's a very nice set. Really nice, sort of mid-century. Pretty chic. I do already have a mid-century set that's quite similar in shape. There's there was no like way that. I was debating us getting it, darling. Yeah. Just, you know, it's nice to look at things. What have you spotted? Uh, oh, you grew up with some of those, did you? Well, as little paintings, but never like this. Yeah. And I've nearly bought one at auction twice They're now. so clever, aren't they? Oh, I love this. They remind me of 1940s houses yeah. that often had that as decoration. I'm going to see how much piece. it is because this is really good. It's cork. 20 euros. You're getting okay. it. I've, I've lost out. I had 40 euros before. Oh, Can't believe it. We're taking that home. I don't usually go for those things because I think I grew up seeing them in sort of my grandparents' house. And I just thought of them as slightly old, dusty things in the background of the mantelpiece. I wasn't really valuing them, but it's actually true. If you look at the workmanship, it's quite amazing and delightful. I love the little cranes. And for 20 euros, it's not bad. Oh, that's a nice one. This is the Vin Salon Il est combien? 540. I like the pattern on it. Me too. It's heavy too. Have you seen... Cheese mouse. Cheese mouse. <laughs> These are the glasses, the clear version of your glasses. Yes, they've got several different patterns. I think mine is... Uh, 1,200 euros for the whole table. 1,200 euros. 1,200 euros for the entire table. Yes, yes, yeah, you are moving fast there. I think it's actually a good price for it. It's certainly not one that we are about to pay. But it's, a, it's a fair price, yeah. Your colourful ones have this circular base, don't they? Yeah, so if those have been circular, this would be a different story. I must say that 1,200 euros for that full set of 12 there with the champagne coupes, the water glasses, red wine, white wine. Actually, this one of the champagne coupes was missing and then six of the colourful glasses and the decanter. That was a very good price. It's not something that we're going to go for, but if anyone's looking for crystal glasses, this could well be the place to come and have a look. So my friend just, okay, <laughs> but I heard 200 because I didn't hear him say mil in front of it. So for 200, I would have gone for it, but I don't think we need it. I'm very glad we haven't to carry all that back to our This is the place to replace your old glass lampshades. Good to know. I do love this. Uh, he's clearly just been waiting for you, Philip. I think he must be for those sort of 1970s cheese and pineapple Could, on sticks. That's quite cute. It's actually quite cute. There's so many things. It's actually quite overwhelming to see everything. It's just like 19th century uranium glass. Yeah, we found lovely uranium glass. Look at that glow. It's such a lovely colour. It's really strange because when you look at it closely, it's almost transparent. And then they actually the do glow. It's so green. They really do glow. Yeah, if you use a black light, they glow. They are very, very cool. I just think they're a bit small for modern use for us. Well, these are the normal French uh, wine glass size. They were, yes. They were, yes. Not so much anymore. I think some people might think we're trying to get away with giving a thimble full of wine. How much are they? It's 60 for the nine. And I think yeah, it's so really we, good Yes, we don't need them. They're absolutely lovely. But They're really lovely. Yeah. The stars are beautiful. Uh, also, I don't know, do we want radioactive glass <laughs> Uranium glass is actually generally considered safe to use, but it is radioactive. It can have up to 25% uranium in it. And it was popular from the 19th century up until around the 1930s, because it just gives that wonderful, almost fluorescent green to glass. Well, this is delightful. It's a little chocolate set for two. There would originally have been a wooden whisk that fits in there. But I think it's delightful. Where is that from? Oh, it's Limoges. Of course we love it. Le Guy Company. I don't think they exist anymore. I just think that's utterly, utterly delightful for one of those wonderful, thick Italian hot chocolates. Ooh. I can actually do with one of those mm, right now. It's quite an unusual market because, you know, it ranges all the way from sorting through piles and piles of old clothes to some quite high-end crystal and pretty much everything in between. We have found something we are very interested in. This is Cristal d'Arc. This is not expensive crystal, but we have these glasses at La Lande and they keep going down. Obviously, we use them a lot in the guest dinners as our water glasses. And so it would be very useful to have a few more depending on the price. It shouldn't be too much for this. 
Some of you may remember seeing that we went to the Cristal Dark factory quite recently. They were the first crystal manufacturer in France to make crystal available to a larger public. And most households today have some Cristal Dark in them. And they're wonderful. They're beautiful. They're lovely shapes. They can, if you don't do it too often, go in the dishwasher. So we tend to use them and then mix them with the beautiful Vin Saint Lambert colorful crystal. We've got some Baccarat crystal decanters that we use and they work very well with it. Well, we've agreed to buy those four 14 large crystal dark glasses for 38 euros and they're going to be very very useful back at home. You used to have a set of 12 I think yes. and we were down to 7. Uh, then when I bought the, the, the Baccarat set, the huge one, we it, it came with two or three Baccarat versions of the same pattern. Because this is a copy of the Baccarat, exactly, isn't it? Exactly. Yes. So you can't really distinguish the two yeah. very well. So we had 9 I think or 10. So now adding these we've come to 23 which means we can actually use them for the guests in us yes. again. Well, that was the very last stall of the entire flea market. So we ended on a real high. And yeah. now we're going to meet up with Marie. And Nick's arrived with her as well. So we're going to go and have a much needed warm drink. We've left the flea market. And now we're entering another Alibaba's cave. Well, I wasn't expecting you, sir. We found um, the first purchase. Entire zebra. How much is the zebra? Oh, um, 17,000. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm. That's a lovely cabinet. Isn't it just? Really pretty. So, read the top. So many things. I mean, this place goes on and on over three floors. And again, just sumptuous Murano chandeliers. Guess how much this cabinet is? I really have absolutely no idea. Just guess. I don't know. Two and a half thousand. Thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand? Thirteen thousand. I am truly surprised. So We're coming upstairs, so first floor now. It just goes on and on. They're nice wardrobes. Okay. Looking for something for Bon Maman similar to that. That one's a little bit too dark on the left. And I think that might be too angular on the right, but it's a sort of thing that I want to keep an eye out for. <laughs> oh my goodness, what have they done to Thor? Oh. No. Well, he looks pretty cross about it and I can't blame him. Yeah. Oh, look at that pink set. It reminds me of your blue one, yes. the K set. I am very tempted because this one actually has all the serving dishes. No, you're not tempted. You are joking. Step away from the lovely pink set. This is really nice. I know it's nice. Oh my goodness, it's bigger than I thought. It's absolutely enormous. 118 pieces. 650 euros for 118 mm. pieces and it's Limoges, but uh, no. <laughs> Well, that's for a decent cup of <laughs> chocolate. They're big. I love the suggestions. They're really pretty. I really like them. It's a very delightful needlepoint. Philip spotted more Evesham. You really have an eye for the Evesham, <laughs> don't you? That's 55 euros for five pieces. And that's, yeah. that's unfortunately too much for us. We've been managing to find the Evesham pieces for a little bit less than that at little local auction houses in England. We are relaxing after a hard morning mm. of bargain hunting in a really it's nice awesome. Italian restaurant. Yes. Philip's found Vitello Tonato. And I like the way they've done it there. Very good, yeah. We should do it at home. I said that last time. Oh, thank you, Nicholas. Nick's having one of my favorite, which is spaghetti alle bombole, so spaghetti with clams. I have a Napolitana pizza with anchovies and capers. And Marie's having carpaccio. Lunch was delicious, actually. That was such a good find, that restaurant. And now we're probably getting in a lift in town. And that's to take us up to the level of the Palais de Justice, which is on that higher level. Which is where Nick's parked the car because unfortunately it's time for us to go back to the flat and get ready to leave because Philip and I are getting the train to London tonight and it's from there that we'll be going back to La Lande. Once again, Poupette is leading the way. Here we go. This is really good fun. That is a lot of fun. What a city, hey Poupette. That is very cool. That's the lift that we've just come up in. Have you seen the cloud? And we walked along here. Where's the cloud? Walking cloud. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. 
And that's the Palais de Justice, built by the megalomaniac Leopold. It's actually a very unpleasant king who was responsible for many atrocities in the Congo. The thought of him building a Palais de Justice somehow seems quite hypocritical. And when this Palais de Justice was built, it was the largest public building in the whole of Europe. And apparently the scaffolding on the dome has been there for about 50 years and has rusted into place, so it can't actually be removed. And now the scaffolding front is new and they've started to restore the whole building, so I'm not too sure how they're going to deal with scaffolding at the dome. And now for the full Belgian experience. Marie's getting waffles. Because we didn't get dessert. This is so warm. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. This is the line. What is wrong with you? Yeah, melon sorbet. It's freezing. Melon. <laughs> melon sorbet. But this is so warm and lovely. Mm. <laughs> you look so happy. It's very good. <laughs> Clutching your glasses. You're living your best life today. Absolutely. We've popped into this really lovely chocolate shop. We apparently are the suppliers of the King of Belgium. And I thought it'd be nice to take something for Marie to thank her for looking after Lancelot whilst we're away. But also, Philip, what would you like? I think I'd like a passion capsule. I was thinking about the passion dark chocolate. Okay. Passion dark chocolate and a passion capsule. So this one is for Marie, and that's for Philip and I to have on the journey, and also when we get home tonight with a cup of tea. Well, we've had the best time with Philip's family and Nick and Marie, but it's time to get the train to London. We're only going for one day, but in that time, we're going to see someone very exciting. You'll have to wait and find out. We're getting on to the Eurostar, and the next thing we know, we'll be in London. We've arrived at London St Pancras, and we just popped into M&S where we've got some flowers for the flat and crucially some milk for my tea. We've arrived and straight in with our favourite meal, fish and chips. It's so copious, it wine. barely fits on. <laughs> Sorry, with our favourite meal. <laughs> wine <laughs> as being muzzled by yes. Philip right now. Well, I'm going to come and join you and tuck in. So good night, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Adam up. <laughs> <laughs>